Um, so I just wanted to do one more video here on, on this painting. Uh, so this would be like day nine. Um, but basically about finishing a painting. I, I've really found that uh, maybe painting this way uh, where you're working kind of on the whole canvas, um, usually the way it finishes, uh, you don't really force it to be finished or anything like that, or you don't decide that it's done or anything like that. I, I find really you just literally run out of stuff to work on. Um, I mean, eventually, as long as you still have, like, if you look at an area and say, I really want to make that a little more resolved or do something to the paint, make it a little more finished. Um, as long as you have those things, then you really aren't done with the painting. But uh, I always found, at least uh, I found for the last, I don't know, a uh, certain amount of time that you you get to the point where it's like you, you, you mix up a color and you might put it down and then you just sit there looking at it for five minutes or ten minutes and then you might mix up another color and sort of put it on a little tiny mark. At that point it really is probably a better idea just to move on to another painting. It really is fully resolved at that point but uh, I guess at the current moment uh, I still feel like there's a few little things I want to do and so therefore it's not done yet. So like I look at the ear and I I look in the mirror and I think it could, I could be a little bit better. <laughs> and maybe that just involves, uh, so like when I look at this area of that anti-helix here in today's lighting, there's just something about that color where it's hitting the light, the way the light is hitting that part that it's just has kind of a, maybe a little bit of a coolness to it. It's kind of interesting. So yeah, just at the moment, like looking at the ear there, could be a little more resolved, I think. For the most part, the face seems to have kind of gone in the direction I was hoping. Um, I still think it could use a little more work, especially through like the, the beard and everything. So for example, like this part of the brow ridge in here, I'd like to make that transition maybe a little bit uh, smoother and just basing that on what I'm observing, you know, when I look in the mirror on that part of the, that part of the forehead in there, I just see that as more of a smooth transition.
The other thing I wanted to mention is I've switched over to uh, the smallest brush I have, which is this, um, it's a Princeton, let's see if I can get it to zoom in, Princeton Summit. And this is the, actually this is a two, uh, double zero. I have a triple zero over here as well, but this one's pretty small. Um, I find usually, so I find usually at the end of the, end of the painting, um, usually switched over to the smallest brushes. You know, they usually say that's a good strategy, you know, to go start with your bigger brushes and go to the, go towards the smaller brushes. But I find it just happens in a very natural way. I mean, the ones I usually use is consider my larger brushes are these Bristlon, which are the 1903 Filberts. If you haven't tried those, they can do anything pretty much. Um, I have larger ones and like a four over there. And I think I have a six in here. Uh, but usually I find like a three, a four on the, the bristles can pretty much cover any size canvas pretty much. And uh, and by the time I get to the, the Princeton's here, these synthetic ones, Usually I don't need anything smaller than that. Well, I thought I was going to be done by today, but uh, I still feel like there's just all these little things I keep wanting to do, like just these little transitions between colors. And uh, so until I run out of those, I think I'm just going to keep working. So maybe maybe I'll extend this video into an <clears throat> another day. Um, but pretty much we're running out of light for for today. Not there.